do you think of the East African Federation? I have no idea. Um, an attempt by now seven African countries to unite into... Okay, so you're telling me. Okay, good. So I'm learning something. An attempt by now seven African countries to unite into a single super state. I am saying now because of because the Democratic Republic of the Congo recently just joined us. Uh, oh, yeah, I heard about this one, I think, a while ago. Uh, signed the treaty and became part of the project. this project. Okay, so I, 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 I saw in a video on YouTube that there was an attempt by, you know, the DRC to be part of this a bigger group um, and eventually become a country. I just didn't remember much of it because I just watched a, a short explanation of that a while ago. Do you think this will succeed? Um, succeed? And if so, what does this mean for Africa and the world? I don't know enough about the details to be able to uh, to pa uh, to come up with an answer about this. The other six countries, by the way, are Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, uh, Burundi, Uganda, and South Sudan. Hmm, that sounds pretty amazing. Like, okay, so even if it, so given that I don't know about the details, okay, um, the mere attempts at trying to get there, I'm assuming will evolve. The, pro the project by itself will mean low, lesser barriers to trade and more cooperations between the country. So even if it fails, the fact that the attempt is there even if you don't meet the goal, I think the process of trying to get there will encourage a lot more cooperation and businesses and flow of migration and trade without barriers between the countries. So if, if, it, if it doesn't, so I'm guessing, which I don't know because I don't know the details, I'm guessing that even if it's a failure, it wouldn't be a total failure because the steps towards there will still benefit the countries. But if anything that if we can tell like we can tell that lesser lower barriers. So when I say that the of borders of the current borders of countries need to be respected and not challenged, I don't by challenge, I don't mean I don't consider the challenge where countries get to eat with each other and they all agree with each other that this we could remove this border and become a country, okay? Like if it's if all sides of all countries, you know, negotiate with each other and they all agree to change borders together, that's not a challenge. That's just an agreement, and that's not against the um, that's not against international law. They will all file within UN that now these are the new borders. And within the legal framework, we will have new borders, right? And if if you manage to remove borders using that model, I think, and all countries consider this to be beneficial to them, and that could only be positive, right? Like this, we saw that with the EU, right? And I, I think encouraging that with more countries would be f fantastic, right? On average, it seems like it could be a good idea. But again, it might be a horrible idea because I don't know about the details, right? But lesser, l less borders, um, as long as it's completely voluntarily by all sides, is usually a great thing. Hey, guys. If you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.